Welcome to this program, uh, play guitar, and I hope you got the guitar and a happy smile, smile ready so we can get started with um, playing chords. We got a D major chord to play today, but before I would like to ask, have you had any problem with the chords in Trolls Lullaby, or is it anybody here who got a problem? Just a little bit with stiff fingers and also my thumb keeps creeping over the top. All right. Um, I think it's because you, you're trying to do something very peculiar with your fingers, and you shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> because it, it's, it's only, it, well, it's a couple of joints here, here, and so on. You can turn your hand like that, and you can bend your fingers, you can turn your thumb a little bit, and of course you can be dropping your arms down, and you have to lift the top, and well, that's about all. So then, drop your arm. <laughs> lift it up. Turn it so the fingers are pointing towards the fingerboard. And now, so you got the fingers banded. Try to grab that first chord, E minor chord we got in, in um, Trolls Lullaby. And on, on the fourth string, on the uh, first string. Don't press down very much. Just try to find the place. Watch your finger. If you take the guitar away, the only thing that happens is that the, the fingers are bent. You see? It's not difficult at all, no. in fact. And look, watch the th thumb. It should be bent backwards, like that. And again then, if you are sitting in, in, in the same way as I'm doing, so that the angle of the fingerboard is upwards, like that, then it's easier for you to have this ri wrist straight, yes. which also is uh, a necessity for the, the um, thumb. Have you got your thumb now bent backwards? No, still a bit <laughs> if you could rise your fingerboard again a little bit more, uh, you could change the leg. Have the other leg, leg. Yeah. That brings you the mechanical head up a bit. And look what happened to your wrist now. Now it's straight. Yeah. It's very much better now. And move around like that. No tension. And drop your arm again. Relax and relax and relax. That's more important than anything else. It's your brain that should be taught, not always your fingers. All right then. Uh, and then your brain will teach your uh, fingers. Oh, cinema, you remember that one? Oh, cinema, where you gonna run to? Oh, cinema, where you gonna run to? Oh, cinema, where you gonna run to? All oh, on that day. Well, that's the question, but not today, anyway. <laughs> so, and I play the D major chord. Will you try that as well? <clears throat> the four finger on the third string, second fret. And um, the second finger on the first string, second fret. And work with them a little, like that. Press it down, fast, relax, press them down, relax, and so on. So the muscles are being trained like that. Remember the thumb, bend it backwards on the middle of the back side. All right, that, that's good. So now, right hand, thumb on the fourth string, and E my fingers, P, E my, P, E my, P, E my. That's good. And this is almost a D magic chord. Uh, we, we can do with that as a if we like to, but the hool, the full uh, D magic chord is also the third finger. And here it's more important than before to keep your fingers um, bent because you have to keep free with the first string. And that can't be done in any other way than uh, this third finger is bent. Can you see that? All right then. So try to play that. Fourth string with the right hand thumb. That's good. And now again, 
Don't move your right hand very much. Watch my hand carefully. I'm playing only by moving my thumb by the joint. joint. And then the other fingers, E my fingers, also by just bending them like that. P, E my, come on. P, E my, P, E my. That's good. And now, for a, li a little um, uh, practice again with your left hand, press down your first finger like that. Keep the others still. Well, that should be. And then try to press down uh, the second finger and relax. All the others should be relaxed, but still touching the strings. And the third finger as well. That exercises the muscles in the fingers. And now all together. And after that, it's very important that you relax. Down with your hand, like that. It's more important to play five minutes like that well, every day than 10 hours one day and nothing for the rest of the week. You, you can kill your muscles in that way. All right then, uh, here you got <coughs> them all. E minor, D major and everything. We'll start with E minor, come on. P, E ma, P, E ma, P. Oh, that's good. D major, three fingers, you got them. All right then, be relaxed in every finger, even the little finger. Come on, P, E, ma, P, E, ma, P, E, ma. And if it's any problem, you can play D sixth. In fact, I think that sounds very nice. I used to play it even though I don't think I have to, so always. P, E, ma, P, E, ma. Don't you think it's a very clever chord? Yeah. <laughs> That's very nice. All right then, that is when you're plucking the chords. But if you want to strum them, grab this. And as you can see now, E minor chord has got another fingering, one and two. And that is because it's combined with D major. Different combination demands different fingerings. So don't get stuck with one fingering only all the time. So now, E minor from the six strings drum. Run. Good. Marvelous. Once more. Ooh. That's it. Come on then. Uh, D major. From the fourth string, you can strum. You got it? All right, ready? Here we go. Ah! Good, once more. You can do the same with the D6, D major 6 as well. Come on, fourth string. You're absolutely incredible. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought you could do that. Oh. No. This is the way it looks in the book. Oh, cinema. We sing, uh, we don't sing the, the uh, text, we, we sing E minor, E minor, and so on. And if you want to strum, you strum. E minor, dang, dang, dang. Or if you pluck, you do it like this. P, E ma, P, E ma. That, uh, you, you make the choice, I don't. As, as long as you can't write. One, two, three. Yeah, by the way, this is a four, four time beat. Remember that as well. One, two, three, four. E minor, E minor, E minor, E minor. I didn't hear you sing. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Try once more. No. E minor, E minor, E minor, E minor. And now we stop here so we can take the D major chord. Come on, now. D major, D D major, D major, and that's why we stop to take the next chord. Come on, E minor, E minor, E minor, E minor, and here is all the same E minor chord. E minor, D major, E minor, E. Minor. Well, I don't believe it. <laughs> Albert Hall next. Oh, yeah. why Thank not? you. <laughs> why not? Yeah. Well, if they pay good enough, yeah, mm. we will join them. We have to negotiate. <laughs> we have to do that, yes. Um, um, this is... Um, have you ever seen this chord before? Just done it. <laughs> <laughs> good. The <coughs> magic chord. That's good. Okay. We'll try it once more. For, for, see if you've forgotten it. <laughs> Come on, then. D. P. E. Ma. P, E, ma. P, 
Ima, P, Ima. And the way you just played, you can see over here. On the fourth string, P and Ima, P, Ima. And you can also see here uh, on, on the, these lines. Now, then, try to take this one. A major. Well, you've done it in Tom Dole already. Come on now. But now it's another bass on the fifth string. Come on. P, Ima, P, Ima, P, Ima. Stop. Keep the first finger left on, on the same string and move the others to D major. Now, P, Ima, P, Ima, P. Don't be afraid. It, it, it's gonna happen anything, uh, except that it's gonna sound nice. La de de da de da da da. And now you got to stop there and wait for a second so everybody can change the chord to A major. La da re da p e ma p e ma. And that's why you're gonna change again over to this bad wonderful D major chord. La da la da la de de de. And now it's just only once more you have to go to this A major chord. La, la, li, de, la, and back again to this D major chord. Very good. And now, if you want to have um, an A major seventh, it looks like this. You just take away the first finger. So you got one finger only, the second. And pluck it so you can hear what it sounds like. P, Ima, P, Ima. That's it. Or if you want to strum, you can strum on this one. Uh, th then you have to press down the fourth string as well. So it, it's the right note. Come on, strum from the fourth string. No, fifth string. No. Good. Once more, it sounded so nice. Come on. That's the first major uh, seventh chord you ever played in your life, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, and it ends up in D major. Come on. You got it? Almost, very close. Now, all right, one, two, three, four. Come on. <laughs> Fine, and that is... As you could hear, um, the, the chords to skip to my loop. Give it a try. Come on. One, two, three, four. Lost my partner. What will I do? And now you got to take a major or a major seventh. Lost my partner. What will I do? And here again, D major. Lost my partner. What will I do? And here we go, A major, A major seventh, as you prefer. I skip to my loo, my doll. <laughs> Could you take that at the end? <laughs> All right, but you've got one week to the next um, time we meet again, and then you, you will be able to play it as fast as I did. All right? Take it once more. Gone again. Now. Gone again. Skip to my loo. Oh, here we got A major seventh note. Gone again. Skip to my loo and E major. Are you ready very soon so we can get to go? Oh, right, come on. Gone again. Skip to my loo and A major seventh. Skip to my loo, my doll. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. If you, if you think we are playing too fast uh, for you to, to keep up with us, uh, then uh, take a look in the book uh, on page 23, and you got one week to, to uh, get familiar with the chords and, and the way, when to change and all that. I hope you, you know now how to change and when to change and why to change. So, uh, you want to play it together with me? No, no, you, you just play the bass, the bass now. Come on. One, two, three, four. Lost my partner, what'll I do? Lost my partner, what'll I do? Lost my partner, what'll I do? Skip to my loo, my darling. Gone again, skip to my loo, oh, gone again. 
skip to my loo, done it again. Skip, skip to my loo, loo. skip to my loo, my darling. Ah, oh, that's it. All right, then. Uh, there is more coach. Oh. Now we reached a point which is uh, the most famous in the world. This is wonderful chords uh, which can make the accompaniment to at least uh, half a million melodies. E major, A major and D major. So when you can play them, you are fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> you see, and the way to do it is this. Uh, four finger, third string, First fret. All right? Right hand. I think you already know. <laughs> On the sixth string. And E my fingers. That's it. All right then. And left hand. Move to the second fret. It's very important that you glide along the string. Now bend the thumb on the back side. The elbow should be hanging down all right then. Good. Now, two fingers, A major chord, and right hand. Thumb on the fifth string, E ma. And now, move your fingers to D major chord, which you've already done. Uh, and right hand again, P on the fourth string, and back to A major. That's it, yes, all right. Uh, now, uh, again, there is one thing I would like to say. If you get tired when you play, it's because, again, you are tensed, and the blood cir circulation stops, and uh, oh, it, it doesn't stop really, but it, it's going very slowly and bad. So hang down with your head. No, I mean my arm. <laughs> Tom Dooley. <laughs> like that. All right, then. And just relax. Swing your arm, so. And, and so you feel how heavy it is. And now, Try to lift your underarm without moving anything except your underarm, slowly upwards, and then turn it also, so the fingers are pointing at the fingerboard. And now, to reach the, the strings, you might be, have to move the elbow a little bit. Is it the elbow, you say? Yes, the oh. elbow. Wonderful word. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Have you done it now? And the wrist should be just straight like that. Nothing funny at all. And this moving tells you how to feel relaxed. Because one used to forget that, having the hand here, trying to adjust it when it is on place. Always think the most natural way of all. That's the best way. <coughs> all right. Um, should we try to play the melody? Why not? <laughs> <We're going to laughs> Why not? You're right. You are um, not scared. Oh, that's very good. Come on. Uh, we start with this E major now. E major, E major, P, E ma, P, E ma. And then move this finger up to the second fret, P. E ma, P, E ma, P. I think you're unbelievable. <laughs> and then over here to the D magic chord, you got if you can't play an D major, play a D uh, sixth instead. P, E ma, P, E ma. I'm back to A major. That's it. Come on. Go on, go on, play. Well, that's the way. Go on, <laughs> <laughs> No, here you got it. Go on. Uh, <clears throat> is, this is two four time beat, like this. Two beats within every bar. One, two. Uh, one morning, just. Ah, uh, stop here. Uh, uh, my, my uh, <laughs> as the, come on. As the sun was an E major, rise. And then A major again. I heard a maid singing in the... And here comes a fast movement between uh, D and E. Play the bass only. Four string, six string, and then P, E, ma. Come on. And then E major. Oh, 
And it's the same again, A major. How could you on D major? You support me. Well, it's, it's the same again, just the bass. A bass, E bass, P, E ma. Come on. And then you can play all together, uh, P ma, like that. Come on. This. No, play only. The bass note all the time if you cannot keep up with me, because I'm going to play it for you now and sing. <coughs> Show what lovely voices you got. <laughs> uh, early one morning, just as the sun was rising, a maiden singing in the valley below. Oh, don't deceive. How could you, indeed? <laughs> I don't understand. <clears throat> now, let us see if you forgot that melody, you know. Mm. We give it a try. Do the same here. Uh, play, uh, play only the, the, the bass if you cannot keep up with me. <clears throat> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, one, two, three, four. Oh, Cinnamon, where you gonna run to? Oh, Cinnamon, where you gonna run to? Oh, Cinnamon, where you gonna run to? All on that day. Oh, Cinnamon, where you gonna run to? Oh, Cinnamon, where you gonna run to? Oh, Cinnamon. To my loo. The same, you play the open bass string if you uh, don't, can't keep up. Come on. Lost my partner, what I do? Lost my partner, what I do? Lost my partner, what I do? Skip to my loo, my darling. Gone again, skip to my loo, oh, gone again. Well, anyway, thank you very much for this, uh, and, and uh, we see you next week, and I hope then you know <coughs> how many chords to play, and um, why you should play it, and when you should play it, and, and, and so on. Uh, anyway, D major chord, A major chord, E major chord, and so on. And if you thought we played too fast, look in Play Guitar, page 23, and you find Skip to Malu. And you've got one week to do it. And do remember to relax all the time, like I said, because I think it's very important. Do also read in the book of, uh, on page six, 17, that where you will find a lot of advices how to do with your fingers when you are practicing. And just raise yourself. Uh, take a cup of tea, relax, because it's very important. The D major chord is the beginning of a melody which is called rhythmical. Uh, and that's the final melody.